Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to the channel. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. In today's video, we'll be redecorating our guest bedroom upstairs. And before I get started with decorating that space, I wanted to refresh this nightstand. This nightstand was in my daughter's bedroom. And actually that's where I'm filming it and spray painting. Yes, you heard me right. I am spray painting this nightstand inside. I do not recommend spray painting any furniture inside your home. This room was pretty much empty. It was cold outside. The garage was full and I didn't have anyone to help me move these nightstands downstairs. So I decided to do them inside myself. So I suggest covering your entire floor, hanging plastic to create a work area and opening windows to the outdoors. I also turn off my central air to avoid the spray paints circulating through the air. I used an electric sander to sand the tops and sides on both nightstands. I used a sanding block in the front of the nightstand to get into the grooves and followed up with a tacky cloth to remove any excess dust. Then I sprayed two coats of black spray paint that's made with primer in the satin finish. I lightly sprayed a third coat on the drawer fronts to make sure it handles the use of opening and closing the doors. Here is the finished look. I made sure the nightstands cured for 48 hours before moving them into the bedroom. The first thing I'm going to do is change out these curtains. And this is where the bloops and blunders come in because I clearly thought that this was an 84 inch hang or drop. I forgot I did take the curtains all the way to the ceiling so i got these beautiful beautiful curtains perfect color but they were 84 inches i am going to hang them and leave them up for now i'll be looking for some because this is going to be our fall and winter look so i'm definitely going to try to find some that are 96 inches because these curtains are definitely flooding I do know that they should be either kissing the floor or in some people cases they like to have them touch the floor but I like them to kiss the floor like barely touch the floor so oh well if this was hilarious to me because I clearly forgot I had already made the bed, but I definitely want to tell you what's on the bed. So we have the mattress, then we have a mattress pad, we have this mattress cover, and this is a large mattress cover. It will fit all the way around the bed. We have our fitted sheet, and we have our flat sheet. I like to cover my box spring. I usually use a fitted sheet the same color of the bed. So in this case, the bed is gray, so I'm using a gray fitted sheet. You can also use white, which is fine, but I prefer to use the color of the bed frame. And you definitely want to cover your box spring if you make your bed in such a way where your box spring is showing. And the last thing on the bed right now is the coverlet, or some people call it a bed spread. Of course, I always like to shop my home and that's why I'm using this silver or gray colored duvet. And I purchased this many years ago from Macy's and I still love it. This is a really, really thick duvet cover and I've been able to get by with using it as a coverlet. But today we're going to use it as a duvet cover, what it was designed for. And I know there are some people who frown upon people using their duvet covers as coverlets, but hey, it's your house, it's your home, do what makes you happy. And this was actually my first time using the duvet cover as a duvet cover. And to my surprise, there are no strings 
or buttons to attach your duvet insert. So I'm just going to have to make it work. So I'm going to make sure I line the corners up real well and give it a good shake just to make sure it does not move or roll around. I'm using a king size duvet insert inside of a queen size duvet cover. Now, this particular company sent me this duvet insert probably six months ago. I ordered it for my king size bed, but I was not happy with the size of it. So I decided to keep it and just layer my beds with it. It is a king size, but it's not oversized. So, you know, I buy a lot of oversized bedding, so that did not work. It definitely works in this queen size duvet. Not having those strings inside of the duvet cover made it a little more difficult to add this duvet insert to the duvet cover, but I got it done, took a lot of shaking, and a lot of moving around, but it turned out really nice. Now we're going to add this beautiful gray on gray floral pattern comforter. This is one of my favorite brands of comforters and I purchased it. I got a really good deal from Kohl's. So I'll leave the link in the description if it's still available. The last time I checked, I didn't see it. So hopefully it'll pop back up. Now let's add the pillows. These particular pillowcases came with the she set. I just used my Cricut to add the word in dream big. And these make a really great gift for your guests. I haven't had any guests because the goal was for them to take the pillowcases when they leave. So I'm just going to add my pillowcases from the coverlet on top of these pillowcases just to give it more of a luxurious look. I will be using the pillow shams that came with the comforter. Although they have an envelope opening, you definitely want to turn the opening towards the inside of the bed. We're going to add our decorative pillows. These two are 26 inch pillow covers that I had made a couple of years ago with 28 inch pillow inserts. And then I'm going to put a 20 inch pillow in the front along with a round furry pillow. I absolutely love this beautiful velvet ottoman. It is so fitting for this room. It has the loose side legs, which is going to play right into the design I'm going for. Just adding this beautiful pillow to the ottoman that I purchased from Tuesday morning a while back. I do have two of those. And I'm just going to add a little pop of color since it is fall, just that eggplant throw. I do have another throw and I actually have pillows to go to this throw, but I'm not going for that look. So I'm just going to add the throw and a little bit of purple in the room. So let's go ahead and decorate the nightstands and I'm going to add these beautiful lamps I purchased from Home Goods. They are a division of Uttermost. Uttermost has this same lamp that you can buy from a furniture company for a lot more. These work perfect in this space. Lamps have the lucite base similar to the lucite that's going on on the ottomans as well as the chrome detail and the taupe lampshade. So far, I've added a black Chanel book along with this beautiful purple pumpkin. It also has a little bit of silver detail and I'm also adding a silver vase along with some artificial florals that I already had. On the other nightstand, I'm going to be doing a little bit more, but I'm going to group it together so it won't look cluttered. The first thing I'll be adding are these two books. One is Cicely Tyson's Just As I Am, and the other one is Hollywood Black. And now I'll add these two purple vases, and I'll be adding some more pumpkin stems to the larger one. Then we'll add this tray and this purple and gray crystal 
going to add these lucite and chrome lanterns to the side of the bed they won't be staying they're actually for decorative purposes only i must have kicked them three times walking past so i definitely do not want them in the way of a guest or anyone else for that matter I've just taken a minute to enjoy this beautiful piece of art that I picked up from Home Goods. I shared it in a recent haul. It was $129.99 and it has all of the neutral colors that I'm working with in this space. So I'll put that up later off camera. And if you haven't seen how I hang my art, I'll leave a link to that in the description. I use these simple cleaning products to clean my doors my handles as well as my light switches and my mirror i just turned on my steamer and you can hear it in the background and i'm using this cashmere linen spray to spray my comforter and now will steam all of the wrinkles out All right, so here is the finished look. I also used an artificial plant inside of a vase that's on a stand to kind of hide those short curtains over in the corner. And it worked out fine until I find some new curtains. And here's the look of the space again with the eggplant colored throw. And here is a look of the space without the throw or the tray on the bed. So over on this wall, I moved the mirror to another wall. I added this art and hung it vertically. I also swapped out the white shelf with this light wood color wall shelf from Restoration Hardware. Over on this wall, I kept it simple. I just added my new piece of art from Home Goods. My whole goal was to have the items flow together, everything from the crystals and chrome in the fandelier to the lucite and chrome used throughout the space. All right, everyone, we are coming to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to like, share, and comment. It really does help my channel. If you haven't already subscribed and you like these types of videos, please hit the subscribe button, turn your notification on so you'll be notified when I post videos. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.